Well, we knew we had to suffer through it at some point, and current year Doctor Who never fails to disappoint. If you haven't heard, and you probably didn't because the view numbers for this trailer are pathetic, Chibs the Idiot's era of Doctor Who just dropped another golden turd on all of us. Yes, folks, the Series 12 trailer is here, and the cinematography does look prettier than last series. But you know what else looked pretty? The Last Jedi, and we all know how well that went over. In the first shot, we see a vineyard. You know what other trailers started off with a similar shot? Star Trek Picard, the latest upcoming bowel movement from the Kurtzman era of Star Trek, which I refer to as Toilet Trek. Perhaps we should introduce Toilet Trek to Chibs the Idiot's era of Doctor Who. I have no doubt they'd get along just great. Stealing ideas? from Toilet Trek, are we, Chibs? Then we skip to a scene that nearly had me grinding my teeth into dust as we have Whitaker the Hateful in a man's tuxedo because we can't show any weakness or femininity or likability or charisma or character or so on. She says the name's Doctor. The Doctor. Sorry, but the Doctor died two years ago. You're some cosplaying feminist that got handed a role that you can't handle. I still don't know what the hell you are, but you ain't the Doctor. I love the look. You can tell this vile woman is quite in love with herself. Then we get the mandatory annoyance of watching Whitaker the Hateful stretch out her sonic screwdriver hand, because that's a thing for some reason. Then she tries to be quirky, but just ends up looking like an idiot. Then, oh no, the security of the entire planet is at stake. Well then, who's this? Whitaker the Hateful doesn't look very impressed. It must be another white dude about to get a lecture. And then, well, what a surprise. It's Stephen Fry. God damn it, Fry. I thought you were against political correctness. What the hell are you doing here? Then we have another failed attempt at comedy as Whitaker the Hateful, trapped in a wall for some reason, says, I'm not where I wanted to be, but I can work with this. Well, Jody, you're not where any of us wanted you to be. As for making it work, I wish you luck. At least you get all them license fee dollars. Now, let's see which villain is next on the to be disgraced list. Well, it's those toxic males, the Jadoon. I have a feeling we'll never see them in quite the same way again. Then it looks like that Ratnos lady is about to get disgraced too. Really digging deep, ain't we, Chibs? Looks like they might be taking a poop on the Sea Devils too, if that's what the hell this is supposed to be. Then we have more attempts at quirkiness. Good Lord! Then we have some mansplaining. I wish you luck, dude. Rest in peace, my friend. Then we have some spider attacks. Yaz trying to act. And Whitaker the Hateful asking if we trust her. No, we don't! And, well, isn't this exciting? Another car chase. Hopefully it garners less laughs than the one in Resolution. Oh, wait. Ryan's screaming like a little girl. Never mind. All the males must be made to look like idiots, as poor Graham is forced to wear whatever the hell this is. And then, wow, some more shooty car chases. And Dr. Hateful asks, where are we? Hell, that's where we are. Actually, we're in 1943 Paris. Considering what they did to Rosa last year, I don't even want to think about where this plot thread is going. Then, oh no, something's coming for me. I can feel it, says Whitaker the Hateful. Don't worry, just ignore it. Just like you did all your critics, which accounts for pretty much everybody. Whoever could this be? Who hasn't been disgraced yet? It's a Cyberman. I'm so sorry, dude. Hopefully it will be over soon. Then we get some more touchy-feely stuff about being mates and family, and I think I just might vomit. Then we get some boom-boom explosion effects to distract from the crappiness. Then, is that Doomcock? Please save us, my lord. Then Graham asks, What have you brought here, doctor? The death of a 56-year-old franchise. That's what. Then Yaz tries to show some emotion, but the facial expression seems to be the same. Then, is that the president of the Earth's plane? Of course it is. It must be. This will be where we get some more orange man bad jokes. And I would expect that stand-in Trump will make another appearance. Coming in early 2020, Chibs the Idiot's Dumpster Fire the sequel. Stay tuned to this channel because, boy oh boy, are we going to have fun with this. And that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and check your subscription and notification status because YouTube is being shady on these things lately. And follow me on Twitter. And as always, everyone, thank you for watching and have a great day.